Yesterday, the iPhone dev team released an update to Red Snow that allows you to easily jailbreak iOS 6 Beta 3, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Now, first of all, just to confirm, I am running the latest version, iOS 6 Beta 3, as you can see there. So the first thing we wanna do is to place our device in the DFU mode, so you just hold the home and the power button, you know the drill, for 10 seconds, release the power button, and continue holding home for 10 additional seconds. And then your screen will stay black, just as it should do in this instance. And now we wanna head over to our Mac with the Red Snow running, or if you're running a Windows box, same Red Snow. You can see it's connected iPhone 4 DFU mode. And the first thing we wanna do though, you see I'm running 0.913 Dev 3, just make sure you have that latest version and you can see the DFU mode there. First thing you wanna do though is click Extras, select IPSW, and point to your 6.0 Beta 3 firmware. You have to do that first to identify it. So once we do that, just click Open. It'll say Successfully Identified. Just click OK. And now you can go back and select Jailbreak. And it'll go through the processing kernel, all that jazz. It's an extremely easy jailbreak. Now you want to select install SSH. City is not available, of course, on the iOS 6 beta yet, but there's another video that you can watch if you want to install City. So check for that in the description and on the post on iDownload blog. So now it's just doing its normal thing, exploiting, uploading first stage, second stage, rebooting, and then doing the RAM disk thing. And you'll see that here in just a second. So just be patient. I'm going to speed this up a lot. So You'll see how it's just sped through there. That's what you should see on your iPhone, something similar to that. And you'll see the Apple logo, and then it'll come back to your home screen. You're not going to see Cydia here because, like I said, it doesn't install Cydia. You can check the description for video how to do that later. But now we need to go back into DFU mode and perform a tethered boot. So we're going to go back into DFU mode by holding the home and the power button. And you continue holding home after you release the power button for 10 seconds. And once you do that, you should be in the DFU mode. Now let's head back over to our Mac with uh, Red Snow running. You'll probably see this tethered jailbreak message. That's what you get after you perform uh, that initial jailbreak. It tells you you need to do a tethered jailbreak or a tethered boot, I'm sorry. So that's what we're gonna do now. We wanna go back, select the IPSW again, the 6.0 beta three firmware, it should say successfully identify, and then click just boot, just like that. And it's gonna go through the boot sequence to perform a tethered boot because this is, of course, a tethered jailbreak. Okay, so it's exploiting with Lime Rain, uploading first stage, and then the second stage, then rebooting. And then again, I've sped the whole process up considerably just to help you guys get through this so you can follow along the steps, but don't, you're not waiting for <laughs> half an hour for my iPhone to reboot. So there we go, that is the tether boot. Now we're back up to our home screen, or our lock screen rather, unlock. And we are on a jailbroken iOS 6 beta 3 instance. So now all you need to do is use SSH or install Cydia. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.